Hello everyone, this is Kalyan from Blackbox Tech and in today's episode, I will discuss about Cognitive Services Face API. So Face API basically return some uh, face uh, features after it detects from an image. So generally it returns gender, hair color and many others feature after it detects from a face uh, image. So without further delay, let's get started. So as you can see, I have already created uh, a resources for cognitive services. And uh, if you click this face API reference, um, then it will take you to this page. So I have already created my location as West US. And these are some query parameters you can use to test um, in this console, like return face ID defaults it's true, but you can actually pass is false. Then return face landmarks, face attributes, this is holds uh, many things like uh, and in comma se separated value you can actually pass which whatever attributes you need. For example, age, gender, uh, then um, uh, exposure, noise, head and all these things. And recognition models, so they have recognition 1 and 2. The 2 is the uh, newest model which you can use to get um, uh, more uh, better uh, result and uh, and return recognition model it will also return the model which you have selected in the web services and at last in the subscription in the header you need to send your subscription key and the content type will be json so that's it so before jump into the code you need to copy your key from here which uh, so if you click on keys if you see along the last videos i have already just copy the key and uh, the application in the um, environments i've already added my keys here and in the service uh, within this method gate face detection uh, i am created this url and from here you can see i'm just passing parameter whatever values i need so return face id true then return face landmark false i don't need any face landmarks and then um, return face attributes uh, whatever attributes you need you need to pass those uh, as a comma so i need age gender smile facial hair glasses emotions and hair and then posting the whole request body um, and the header options here so if you see my component you can see like uh, first time uploading the image when the image uploaded and returned the complete image url and within this service i am sending that image url data uh, to that particular endpoint of microsoft cognitive services and storing the result into this phase data so if you now test our application say for an example i have uploaded this image um, So let's try from beginning and see the console. So see, this is an angry man. So for example, I'm uploading the image, and now uh, let's wait the data to be returned from Cognitive API. So as you can see, this age is 44, gender male, and also the emotions. Uh, so in this object. You can see there are other keys and you need to actually extract the keys with the highest value for an example angle uh, anger one means right now the uh, it's an angry so there are other keys like whatever it will be automatically update the value the next one say this kids image I'm uploading so now it will also detects the age gender and if you see the emotions now the happiness is one that means uh, it's already detected the emotion of that from the image if you see the network tab from this image if you see this whole object has been returned from the api so age emotion facial hair nothing and then gender glasses no glass hair so if you see the hair color the confidence level 
blonde is the confidence level one so from this the all other confidence level so you need to extract the maximum confidence level uh, the key from that and smile one that means it's smiling face id face rectangle you can also draw a simple rectangle out of this so rectangle with height and the position so from the image container you can make it relative and then create a div with these values so it will automatically cover the face with a rectangle that means that uh, face has been selected and that the uh, related value of this so that's all about face api so you can do many things from this uh, api and it will return very um, um, innovative uh, values to you which you can use like say for an example if you have image particular with facial layers like mustache and uh, beard so that will also can be detected from this uh, api so and that's all out for today's video from next week onward i will actually take a new subject because i almost uh, covered the uh, cognitive services so we'll drive into some different uh, technology altogether thanks a lot for watching Thank you.